Welcome back guys and tonight I've got a review of the Amusa light cast iron skillet. That's right we have cast iron which I have plenty of experience with and every other type of skillet out there and then the newer brother is light cast iron. It's meant to be lighter of course. Um, I don't know the exact differences of them. I couldn't find much when I researched it besides it's a different type of mold and it's thinner which it's really thick so I don't I don't know. Um, but basically in this video what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing the first impression, egg slide test. We're gonna be testing heat retention and also heating evenness. So with that said, before we go any further into this video, I have seen more than my fair share of cast iron video comment sections that have more than plenty of negative and unconstructive comments. So with that said, although every comment promotes my algorithm, which I love, I'm not gonna have any negative, unconstructive comments going on. If you've got something to say and it's constructive or if it's nice, have at it. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. If you're just gonna comment something that's just bashing cast iron, don't. I'm gonna delete it. I see enough of that on everyone else's videos. I want this channel to be so more people can go to have a good experience and learn something. And if you have advice, absolutely throw it in there. So with that said, I have left my opinion out of this video the whole time on what I think of cast iron. So I would respect it if you do the same. So with that said, let's go see how light cast iron does against cast iron. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if we can do the shake test, see if it's gonna break loose or not. Sorry for having off camera there. Slides are in, so there we go. First impressions, not bad. All right, so for the first test, we're gonna be testing heat and evenness. So I have strategically, I guess halfway done it, but I have strategically placed these bacon in different parts to see if it's going to be the center that's going to start cooking hotter than the edges or if it'll be more even so with this said i'm going to go ahead and I get to start up and for those of you that don't cook on anything but non-stick and are wanting to get into this kind of stuff with anything but non-stick cold pan then low heat to start rendering the fat from the bacon and then lowish medium or whatever you want from there that way it doesn't stick so that's something i was kind of taught and i do it with all of my skillets everything but non-stick and it works great so so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this turned on we'll back when it's uh ready to see all right so i've been on for about a minute and a half on extremely low heat i bumped it up just a couple seconds ago to medium low and uh, as you can see even over here toward the edges i know you can't see it but this is starting to kind of warm up it started here kind of spread to here and this kind of kicked in so it centralized here which i had very low heat um I'm gonna have to bake them now. I mean, it's, I mean, it is cooking better in the center, of course, but you're gonna kind of expect that. But compared to regular cast iron, I, uh, I definitely think there's quite a bit of difference here, which on the edge here, it's not really fair because it's up in the air. So, so yeah, as far as heating even this for the first test, it's like, uh, looks about right. Looks much closer to normal than regular cast iron. All right, so after seven minutes from turn on, the bacon's done. Cooked fairly evenly. I, I have never been good at cooking bacon. I've never had a single pan that I get even cooking this with bacon on. I think it's just me. <laughs> but anyways, here's the pan after using those tongs in it. And I uh, put hot water in it to deglaze it. And I put oil in the back. I It looks like the season's kind of wearing thin there, but I don't know. I did put oil on it, so it may just be... I don't know. I, it doesn't. It's it's not bare, so I don't, I don't know what that is. But the handle still seems good. The handle's actually really ergonomic, really nice. It looks cheap, but it's 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 very good. Um, yeah, look, no issues there. Pan's in great shape, and it's still really hot. So there you go. Gotta do a taste test.
Tastes a lot like bacon. And for the next test, we're going to test heat retention. This is a new test for me, and I don't know if anyone's ever done it before. I have, this is one steak that the butcher actually cut in half for me, so this is literally the exact same thing. The marbling, I guess, is super consistent. I guess that's normal, because these are literally cut in half, so it's good, it's good as I can get. Anyways, I've got two New, two New York strips. What I'm going to do, I have the cast iron. And I have aluminum paint, which I'm going to wash this because there's some sort of greenish brown powder in it. I'm not sure where it came from. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on low heat, really low heat. Heat them up to 400 degrees. Then I'm going to throw the cold steak in. I'm going to probably do a minute. And then take them out after a minute on each side. And cut them in half and see which one is done more. I hope this test works. <laughs> so, with that said, I I'm just gonna cut to the end where I get them done because I mean, you guys know what's gonna look like. But I I'm not gonna, uh, but I'm not gonna cut the flame off between each pan. I'm gonna leave the flame on the whole time. So, with that said, we're we'll back when we look at the steaks. All right. So on this side we have cast, as you can read. This here we have non-stick, which you can read. I mean, you can't read because my handwriting sucks. I did notice that the non-stick does have a better uh, mylar reaction on it. I'm wondering if it doesn't transfer heat better versus cast iron holding the heat better and not transferring it. Just a thought. We'll find out when they cool off. All right, so it's hard to tell, so I got a micrometer out. <clears throat> um, on the left, we have cast iron. On the right, we have aluminum. I have measured all four cuts at the thinnest brown point, the thickest brown point, and directly in the middle for all four cuts. And it is consistent that this is 50% more cooked than that. Uh, this averages 6 millimeters of brown. This averages 4, mi 4 millimeters of brown. Um, I'm not going to do this test anymore because while I was doing this, I thought of a better way to do this. So on any future videos, you will see that one most likely. But uh, just to give you a closer look, it is just a little bit thicker. This has been the heat retention test. I say we go ahead and wrap this video up. So I forgot to go ahead and show the pan after that last test. The season is still really great. Bottom. What I think is going on here, because I'm not running high heat, I'm really not. I'm running a lower heat. Uh, I think what it's doing, because I'm, I'm running oil on this because it's cast iron. I think it's turning into like a partial <laughs> a partial season is why it's turning like this. Um, but this handle, man, I really, I, I, I know it's smooth around, but this handle is really nice. Um, so the finish has been holding up perfectly well. So now let's go to the wrap up. All right, so here's the Amusa cast iron skillet after all these tests. For the wrap up, what I do wanna go ahead and address is the season on this. If you want to go ahead and whenever it comes time to reseason, because keep this season as long as you can. It's it's a soybean oil, which I showed you the card in the video. If you want to go ahead and just nuke it, that's what I would probably do. Just nuke it off. Um, I do suspect it's a really thick season. The, the texture is from the metal, not from the season. Um, but if you do want to go ahead and spot season, I would, I would go ahead and try that too. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at, which cast iron is pretty common anymore to have not be smooth like carbon steel. So it should be a lot easier to season. So yeah, I guess with that said, if you got any questions for it, put in the comments. Turn to review or try, put in the comments. With that said, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good night.